Hi you guys, how are you? My name is Emmanuel King and I am one of the head coaches here at the Talent Agency Guide. There are various styles and ways to approach a scene. Over your journey as a performing artist, don't be afraid to explore various strategies and methods which will allow you to be a more educated and well-rounded performer. Also, it will lead you into finding the best style for your specific talent. As a pianist has their piano or baseball player has a bat, a golfer has a golf club, you as an actor and actress are the instrument that is on display. Your ability to tap into your emotions, the control you have over your breath or fluidity in your voice, flexibility in movement, how quickly you can memorize text, or your ability to concentrate in distracting environments, like when you're on set and the gaffer or the director or the grips or the PA or background is working behind and front and on the side of you. Or if you're on a screen test and the producers or the ad agencies are texting or typing on their laptops while you're performing. You as the artist have to find the style that will allow you to best cope with all of this and make your characters and the execution of your intent in your scenes to come off natural and flawless. So don't get caught in the trap that a lot of acting coaches will consciously and some naively put on the artist that their style of teaching or method is the say all be all to the craft. That's nonsense. If you think about Denzel Washington, you think about Leonardo DiCaprio, Daniel Day Lewis, Johnny Depp, Holly Berry, Natalie Portman, Julia Roberts, Meryl Streep, they are all brilliant performers and they have the awards to prove it. So how is it that they're all brilliant and they approach the text differently. And not only do they approach the text differently, they're not using the exact strategy of the guru who's telling you that you have to use their technique to make it. So is it Konstantin Stanislavski, Sanford Meisner, Stella Adler, Lee Strasberg, Uta Hagen, Michael Chekvuk, Talent Agency Guy, Ivana Chubbuck, Howard Fine, Larry Moss, Margie Haber, Mike Pointer, Scott Sedita, UCB Groundlings, Caroline Berry, Doug Warrett, Leslie Kahn, or the countless other number of acting teachers that I didn't mention who have their own philosophy or variation of a particular style. The point is, there is many, many, many variations of the craft that we love known as acting and that actors and actresses who claim they wanna be working performers on television and movies, but they're not currently in acting class or training or even spending a dedicated amount of time each day working in front of their cameras or their mirrors on various tech sides and screenplays blows our minds here at the Talent Agency Guide. You don't wake up one day and win a gold medal in the Olympics, regardless of how much raw talent that you possess. It happens by years of dedication and growth. So if you've been feeling like it's time for you to be extremely serious about your craft and the expansion of your acting career, you wanna send us a message with your name, number, and email to sign up to our online acting class to help enhance and sharpen your skill set, or you wanna get our video coaching program that guides you through the process of what steps are needed to be signed by a top signatory talent agency. You can send us a message through our DMs or you can email us at talentagencyguide at gmail.com. Lastly, notice how it seems like I'm speaking directly to you. Why? It's because I'm looking directly into what we like to call here the eye of the camera. So if I start looking to the right or the left or I'm blinking a lot, then you're no longer feeling connected. But if I can lock on to the center of the camera and I can speak to you and on close-ups I do not blink, then there's nothing for you to be distracted to think that I'm not speaking to you even though hundreds of people who are watching the same video will feel the exact same feeling. Now that little trick you can try at home on your camera or smartphone, place it on a tripod or place it up against a book enough to where that is eye level to you and see how long you can talk without blinking.
Work on this muscle because there's gonna be times on set when a lot of things are going on, but your character has to come off strong and have a lot of presence. And the way that you're gonna do that is by connecting to whatever the eye line that the director has given you, locking on, delivering your lines, and not blinking. All right, you guys, I hope this helped. Have an amazing day, and we'll talk soon.